In this video, we're going to take a look at the Portable Painter Bundle, which includes the Portable Painter Classic and the Micro. And here's what it looks like inside. So let's get started. So this is the Portable Painter Bundle. You can purchase them separately or as a bundle. So I got this bundle from Amazon because on the Portable Painter site, they didn't have this particular bundle. I'll leave the links in the description below. So originally, I was just looking at the classic, but I saw that it came in a bundle, and I'm a sucker for bundles, so I had to get the micro as well. I already have a lot of palettes, including travel palettes. The one thing I didn't have is a palette that had the water built into it. So I do have a palette that has the water brush inside it, so you can take it with the water inside the water brush. but. I found out really quickly that I don't really like water brushes. Water brushes and I don't get along. So I really like having a proper brush and a proper water cup so I can rinse the brush really well. First, let's take a look at this portable painter micro. I don't actually need it, but because it came in a bundle, I felt like I wanted to try it. It's always fun to try new palettes and especially small palettes. And also big palettes, any kind of palette. Comes in a nice cloth pouch like this. It feels kind of almost velvety, but not quite. I don't know what that material is, but it's pretty nice. It has a silver drawstring. So it comes with these instructions, it's so tiny, Let's see if we can unravel this. So this might be a good one for me to keep in my purse maybe, assuming it's actually watertight and it doesn't spill. I don't know, we'll find out. So these are the instructions. As you can see, they show the portable painter that's about the size of a credit card. This is what it looks like when it's opened up. And this is what it looks like. You can clip it to your board or your surface so you can attach it while you're painting. So this is the photo that I saw that kind of sold me to this palette I thought it was just really brilliant how the palette was attached to the sketchbook just with this clip here so I thought that was really cool here's some more photos of it and here are the instructions let's take a look at the actual box so this is the micro portable painter there's a mixing well there, two mixing wells on the lid. And then here is the, oh, it's so tiny. Where you can put your pans, paint pans. So it says you can fit half pans like these, or you can also fit full pans if you replace it with full pans. Okay, so at the back, there's like a, little stand i guess and this is another mixing area and this is where you can put your water so it all just like snaps in like this so i wish all of them were kind of like this hinge thing or even just this one could have been a hinge but i guess that that would have made it a little bit more complicated but it's pretty cool it's pretty compact even like this opened up it's pretty small it's plastic it's a really sturdy kind of plastic so this is my current setup right now i have a board that i'm using and then i just have my paper here and i gotta figure out how to how I can attach this at the back there's just a little hinge here that opens and 
you can put your clip on there and this clip is not included in the portable painter it just um it's just a clip that i have and you just clip it to your board so that's what it looks like you can either have it clipped like that on the hinge so your paper would be like this or you can clip it onto here instead so let me show you how to do that so that's what it looks like with a clip there i'm not sure which one i like better but yeah that works that that feels pretty secure there and you can put your water here if you need to and your wells here and then your mixing palette here so that's a pretty sweet setup I wish it came with the actual clip there but that's just a nitpick you can always get these from anywhere any office supply store actually I wish it just like snap close instead of where you have to clip it we have to slide it in but you know I wish it had this kind of action but it's okay let me try to remember if I can put it back okay put it back in there so this doesn't look really too watertight probably is not watertight so what I'd probably do if I were to take this I wish this were more watertight as well I I would love to have this in my purse but as it is it probably will leak everywhere so I probably would have like another extra like container for it to put it in that way like it doesn't leak in my purse now we're going to take a look at the portable painter classic which is really the reason why i got this set i got this set because of the water cups that attach to the actual palette because i'm looking for a way to be more mobile with my painting um that way i can take it anywhere it's not like i'm painting plein air a lot i'm usually moving from my studio to the living room or the dining room or to the backyard so it's just basically inside my house but even just traveling a short distance it's really hard because i have to take the paint and the water cups and all that so i figured if i had the cups built in that would make it a lot easier because a lot of times i'm painting and i'm multitasking so i could be like watching my kid and painting or watching tv or movies and painting and it's just e much easier to have something a lot more portable because i have pets as well so i can't have like just cups laying around all the time okay so let's open this up Okay, let's take a look at the instructions first. This is what it looks like. It says, hands-free watercolor palettes. So I definitely need hands-free because I'm usually wrangling a kid and pets. And so that is a really good thing for me. I usually have access to a table, but if you don't have access to a table, I guess you can put it on your lap. I'm not sure about like how I personally wouldn't like to put my stuff on my lap. So this is 
Steve Padden. He's the designer and founder of the Portable Painter. So I think it's really clever. So this is what it looks like. Again, off the bat, I don't know if it's waterproof. I'm hoping it is or the paints can't leak out, but we'll see. So this one is a rubber kind of band. This one just slides off like that. And this opens up. So I'm actually just going to put this back here so it, I don't lose it. Okay. Okay, so it opens up like this. So these are the cups. I'm not sure where I can put this where it's not going to get lost. Uh, maybe there. I don't know. That looks like it's secure. I've seen, I think I've seen somebody put it like here with a band so it doesn't get lost. I, I would feel concerned about something small like this. I would lose this immediately, probably. Hopefully not. Because um, that would be bad. Okay, so I'm going to put the paint duct water container here for a second so it opens up like this cool and here we see the instructions to open your double brush so we'll, we'll get to that okay all right so it comes with 12 pans and unlike the micro, I don't think there's an option to put a full pan in. Which is not a big deal for me, but um, it's something to note if you're interested in a full pan situation. So these are your mixing areas. They're pretty big areas. And then you have smaller mixing areas here above. And then it comes with a brush. And it's not a water brush. I'm happy about that. It's an actual proper brush. Um, and then you open it up and the, on the other side, there's another brush. So you have, it's two brushes in one. So... So here's the brush. It's an actual brush, not just like a water brush like other sets. And if you open this up, it has a secret brush, a smaller secret brush. So you can either use this or this other side. That feels good. And then... I've never actually had a proper travel brush before, so I'm really excited about having a brush inside the palette itself. And it just goes in here. It fits there pretty well. And then we're gonna put the water cups here. And it slides right in like that. So I like this part better than the in the micro one where it wasn't hinges on the lid. So that feels easier to use. I'm, I'm just really concerned about this. I wish it wasn't like a separate piece. I feel like I'm gonna lose it or somebody's gonna take it. Like my daughter is gonna take it and play with it and lose it, but it's not a it's not a big deal. I'm not sh quite sure what the band is for. I guess it's to hold this. That's weird. Oh, so this is what it looks like in the back. I don't like necessarily these ridges. I feel like they're gonna paint is gonna get in there and it's gonna be hard to clean. And it's going to be stuck there, but that's not a big deal. I, I just don't like it when things have a lot of like ridges that you have to clean like these. I wish it could have been a solid surface, but it's not a deal breaker at all.
there you go. And then I'm just gonna compare these two side by side so you can see how tiny this is. This is so cute. And this one is pretty small as well. Here's what they look like side by side when they're closed. So this one is really like the micro is half the size of the classic. And they're kind of roughly around the same width. This part is around the size of a credit card, so it's a pocket one. This one is if you had a bigger pocket. It's, it's a little bit bigger than a phone. I'm interested to see how this setup is going to be. So again, I usually... Um, I can probably also like attach this to this. Yeah, that, that probably will work. So if I could do that, okay, huh, okay, I usually have a table to work on, so the, the table is not usually a problem, but if ever I were in a plein air situation, like somewhere else, and I didn't have a table, this would actually work um, if I were holding the board, and then I can have this attached. That actually is pretty cool. Okay, and then if you did have a table, then you can um, rest it there and maybe ha have it just be at an angle. Um, maybe like a stand here on this side, but okay, that's cool. And you can kind of slide your paper under there and then that kind of holds it in place. Yeah, and I like that the cups are actually a proper size cups. I mean, they're not enormous, but they're not tiny either. You still would need a separate place to carry your water. So you would need like a little water bottle still. But once you pour the water in here, then you just have one thing to hold. But then again, whenever you have to be done with your session, you have to still... Put this water somewhere so it can't just stay in there you have actually had to find somewhere to put your water in but other than that this is gonna be like a game changer for me just as far as getting more practice in getting more time to paint and that's always a thing if you're a parent like me you know sometimes there's not really a lot of time to paint and you just kind of have to grab your moments here and there so being mobile like this would allow me to paint a lot more often. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.